Good morning dear students. Welcome back to your English grammar class. Yesterday we started past tense and we did simple past and past continuous tense. Today we are going to learn about past perfect and past perfect continuous tense. Let us begin. The past perfect tense is used to talk about first an action that happened before another action in the past. For example, I had read the novel before I watched the film. That means the action of reading the novel was done before the action of watching the film. The second use is to talk about imaginary things in the past. For example, if she had studied hard, she would have passed the exam. Here, we are imagining that if she had studied harder, she would have passed the exam. Third use is to talk about an action that finished in the past and whose result was visible in the past. For example, when I met Roshni yesterday, she was crying because she had lost her bicycle. The action had already been completed in the past and the result of the crying is, was also visible in the past. The structure which is used to write affirmative sentences for past perfect tense is subject plus had plus verb in the third form plus the remaining part of the sentence. For example, I had finished the work. You had finished the work and he had finished the work. For negative sentences, the structure is subject plus had plus not plus the third form of the verb and the remaining part of the sentence. For example, I had not finished the work, you had not finished the work and he had not finished the work. The interrogative sentences are written as had plus subject, plus the third form of the verb, plus the remaining part of the sentence and the sentence ends with a question mark. For example, had I finished the work? Had you finished the work? Had he finished the work? We need to remember that time expressions used with the past perfect tense are for, since, already, after, just, never, yet, before, by and by the time. The difference between simple past and past perfect is that simple past is used to talk about something that happened in the past and past perfect one action happens before another action. For example, Anuradha went out to the market. This is simple past. But when we say Anuradha had gone out to the market but came back soon as it started raining is past perfect where going out of to the market happens before the raining started. The past perfect continuous tense is used to talk about an action that started at a definite time in the past and continued up to that point and was in progress at that moment or had very recently finished. For example, Della was upset when she met us because it had been raining all day and she had missed her football practice. Here, the action had been going on all day and at the time of this meeting or at the time of the speaking, she was upset because she has missed her football practice. The structure used to write affirmative sentences for past perfect continuous tense is subject plus had been plus verb in the ing form. For example, I had been singing, you had been singing, he had been singing. For negative sentences, the structure is subject plus had not plus been plus verb in the ing form. For example, I had not been singing, you had not been singing and he had not been singing. For interrogative, we start the sentence with had plus the subject plus been plus verb in the ing form and we end the sentence with, an, with a question mark. For example, had I been singing, 
had you been singing had he been singing we know that since and for are used with the perfect continuous tenses since is used to talk about the point of time at which an action began the action continues till the moment of speaking and for is used to talk about the duration of an action for example she has been practicing her dance moves since 9 this morning and she has been practicing her dance moves for 3 hours now used to is used to talk about something that happened often in the past but does not happen any more for example mrs ganguly used to be our english teacher that means she was our english teacher in the past but now she no longer teaches us english that will be all for today's class and we'll continue the chapter tenses in our next class